Welcome to Multiverse Masters. My name is Sally Davis, and this is my final project for my master's program in learning in emerging technologies at Empire State College. Behind me, you'll see just part of Multiverse Masters Educational Support Center. Multiverse Masters is actually a four island collection. The Educational Center is on the main island, which you can see right here. Within this main island is different educator supports, tutorials, and ideas. So educators can come here. They can collect free resources that are openly shared in the open source community. They can find items that I myself have created to share with the open source community. They can find tutorials, lesson examples, and more. When they arrive at Multiverse Masters, they will come to this area where I am now, and they will find many different navigational aids to get them to the places that they need the most support in. So when you first arrive at Multiverse Masters, you can see the welcome platform. That just gives you some quick tutorial on how to walk using your arrow keys for those people that are new. And you can see that you were welcomed by SUNY Sweet, School Girl, and the Multiverse Master himself. Those are in scripts. And those are actually um, a tutorial that I will do in the future to go on the blog or the website to help educators learn how to do these different examples. A quick introduction board here. We have examples such as badges. And again, these um, will all be future tutorials with um, future articles on the benefits of badging in uh, gamification and education. There are full tutorial of lesson examples. This one over here is a storyboard film. Um, so though this is just an example, it can have many different applications. So within these, they are slideshows and they talk about the different activity examples. And if people wanted to, they could actually come and do that here. Now with some permissions, they would actually need to become a, a member of Multiverse Masters as a group if they wanted to do it here, but they can also take copies of these and create their own similar setup on their own virtual island. And that's what this island basically is designed for, is to give inspiration and support and ideas and tools to educators to see what they can do in these environments with their students. So there's lots of different navigational tools. I found that that was a very important in this section so that educators could come and find exactly what they were looking for. So you see there's arrows on the way, there's a speaker prep lounge. So um, in the speaker prep lounge, they have tools that they, they can copy and learn how to do presentations and lectures using slideshows that they can create. This is a navigational board. So it just shows the whole island, even outside of the educational support. Um, the main gray, gray square is where the educator support island is, and outside of that we have a student area um, that you can restrict just for students. And again, these are examples that the educators can come and see and decide to reproduce themselves. Uh, in the upper part, currently, there is a lesson immersion of a virtual and fantasy world using educational scripts, non-player characters, and the immersive environment that virtual worlds offer. So a lot of these, um, for instance, in this island, this island will change frequently. The main educational support section will remain the same. Um, however, whenever something is removed, such as at some point the, the labyrinth, the, the medieval area will be removed. I did remove the Mirror Kingdom recently. But those will go out on the blogs and website to keep that factor as uh, inspirational points and examples for other educators. So in that regards, this is also um, very much like a museum for different uh, educational experiences. So these may stay in a section of the museum, even if I decide at some point to remove um, the exhibits or the areas themselves, there'll be a catalog of the area and what was there. So as you can see, there's lots of resources for um, avatars, avatar clothing. There's even more upstairs. You have lots of different teleport options to get you directly where you need to go. This is the main island, the educational aspect with the ability simulation, the exercise area and vertical challenge. These are small um, of different educational content. 
And you have my, the links to my blogs and websites in that area as well. You were able to teleport and hypergrid from here. And as I was saying over here is the actual areas in visual form. I wanted to give lots of different opportunities for people to browse freely, interact with objects. For instance, this one is an interactive light share. You can change the whole feel of the whole environment. If we look up a little bit. So you can see that um, you can go upstairs for many of these um, exhibits and you can teleport right through the teleportation device if you don't want to walk upstairs and there's also the train station so if we teleported to this train station that's how we would access a lot of these other areas now all of these areas are actually within that square the main island so this is the train station this is another area for being able to transport around to the different areas See, this is a, a very interactive little section. You can hear the trains. Now, in the room in there is a lot of scripts and gamification scripts. Again, there's lots of tutorials. So you have the unscripted NPC models and training room. You have the ability simulation, which is a complete simulation on uh, disabilities. Nutrition simulation. These are all examples, but they are complete curriculums. The small games and social simulation. So if you click on the information, tells you a little bit more about them. You'll get a note card. And so instructors can come here. They can see if this is a, an area they want to visit. So a lot of this is very interactive. Some of it is interactive fun. You know, these bikes can be copied and rode. Um, most of this, these um, items give out food items that you've been, your avatar can eat. I wanted to show um, and keep this as realistic as possible to the original design. This is actually an open source design, the building itself. I have altered it in many ways. These are news and these are links to the virtual libraries. So it's also supporting the open source community and everything that people can learn from that. So if we were to, of course there's an inventory lodge that has some of my own inventory things that I've created and that I'm sharing. Virtual comms is about communication and how you use communication in the virtual world. The movement is about the different um, ways to move and also how movement can be used in theater and dance. There's lots of options. Um, the camera shop, of course, has the, the film study in it and teaches how to take pictures, how to take snapshots. Um, these are all very beneficial for educators because they need to learn um, the environment to be successful in teaching within it. So that was my quick tour of just some of the aspects of Multiverse Masters that is designed to inspire educators and help them in their virtual exploits. I thank you very much for watching.